Uh, the rounded sides. 4K YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, a gig of data, and still getting this download speed all because of a tri-band router? How did we even get here? <laughs> so what's the difference between a dual-band router and a tri-band router? Will buying a tri-band router really give you faster internet speeds? Should you be changing your router in the first place? Well, we're going to answer all these questions today as well as do a demo on the new D-Link 3040 tri-band router. Let's do this. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Liron Sega, where I talk about Wi-Fi and gadget and tech tips and phones and how to. If you're into that kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button below and let's get on to today's show. So D-Link very kindly sent me their new DIR3040 Gigabyte Tri-Band Router and I think it's a great time to introduce this concept. So if you already know what a Tri-Band Router can do, you can skip ahead and where I actually do the demo and show you how I test it. If you don't know what a Tri-Band Router is, well, let's explain that first. Okay, so if you bought a router in the last couple of years, typically it will be a dual band router. What does that mean? It means that the router can broadcast on 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. So you know that 2.4 gigahertz is slower but can go for further distances. However, if your devices are within close proximity of the router, then of course 5 gigahertz is going to be much faster, but they've got to be not super close, but kind of sort of in the area in order to not have those interferences and for the communication to be nice and strong. So a dual band router can manage two lanes of traffic, essentially the 2.4 gigahertz band and the 5 gigahertz band, dual band. The tri-band router can not only manage 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, but it has another 5 gigahertz lane. So it's managing three bands. So why do you need another five gigahertz band? Well, because typically we will all like to connect at the nice fast internet speed. So we all connect to the five gigahertz. Well, by doing that, as good of a job as a dual band router can do by managing that traffic, at the end of the day, the more we overload that five gigahertz band, well, the harder the router has to work in order to manage all that traffic. So this is especially a problem when you start using high-end applications like watching Netflix in 4K, at the same time watching YouTube in 4K, the same time as playing games online. Everything connects to the 5 gigahertz. You're trying to suck as much bandwidth as possible to prevent all that buffering. So when you do that, it overloads the 5 gigahertz band and as much as it tries, well, it really can't serve everybody all the time. So now by adding another lane of 5 gigahertz, well then your router can intelligently make the decision of where to send which bandwidth where. When it sees lots of applications sucking up lots of bandwidth, it simply moves some of those applications over to the second lane, that second 5 gigahertz, and now you've got less congestions to deal with. Less congestions, faster internet. So beyond just being a tri-band router, the D-Link 3040 has other interesting features that caught my attention, such as six antennas. Now we know from my previous video that you do have control about your Wi-Fi signals and how you send it around your property simply by changing the position of your antennas. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description. You can check it out. So having six antennas means you've got so much more control. That's awesome. I like the fact that on this particular router, you can actually set it up via your traditional method, via your web browser, or you can actually use the app. The D-Link router does come with a special QR code. You download the app, scan the QR code, and it walks you through the steps. I'm all about helping people get set up nice and quick and secure, so this does a great job. Another cool thing is the fact that it is a mesh system. Now, what does that mean? Well, we know that traditional Wi-Fi's use things like an extender in order to extend the signal somewhere else. What a mesh network does is that it actually does this, but much more intelligently. You can set up these little nodes around your property and they start talking to each other. And using intelligence that's built in, they're able to handle much more traffic. They're able to intelligently route data around your network, avoiding any of those congestions. The mesh system also is able to listen to data and transmit data at the same time. So again, less waiting, more traffic gets transmitted, better internet experience. Another cool thing is the fact that this particular router does have voice integration into Alexa and into the Google Assistant. So you can say things like switch on the guest Wi-Fi, for example. Again, I'm not sure how much you'll use that, but the feature is there for those who want to. 
but it's all about getting good speed and the Triband router does an amazing job at that especially using their QoS system quality of service essentially what that does by a very very simple interface you can drag and drop things into certain boxes giving certain devices on your network higher priority than other devices if you're watching your 4k netflix video you want that nice and crisp you can give that a higher priority than for example your email or your security camera or your smart plugs and whilst we're on the fact of devices it's also got a very very cool firewall that's actually built in simply enable the firewall and now you know you are secure now you can get really really geeky you can do things like port forwarding vpns you can do all of that by simple tapping a couple of buttons Okay, enough chat. Does this actually work? Well, here I've got YouTube, I've got Hulu, I've got Netflix, I've got 15 devices connected to the network. I am connected to the network via wireless and on top of which I am going to dump about, I don't know, about a gig's worth of data into my Google Drive whilst have everything playing and running a speed test all at the same time. This is how you stress test a network. Okay, let's make sure we're going to play it in 4K. Yes, we are. My case video is always great in 4K. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm KBHD here. Life and life you know what's exciting? All right, with this madness that's going on, let me start the speed test. So I've got 4K video playing. I've got Hulu. I've got Netflix. Now I'm going to dump the files into my Google Drive, drag and drop that. Speed test is running at about, what, 400 or so megabits per second, 9 millisecond ping. That is not bad at all. Things are going on. Things are stress testing. 416 megabits per second as a download. And then the upload is around 16 or 17 when I'm capped at 20 anyway. So this is pretty darn impressive. So bringing it all back, should you get yourself a tri-band router? Well, that's a big question. If you've currently got a dual band router, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and you're feeling that it's fine, like you're not having major buffering, everything seems to be okay, you don't have simultaneous high-end devices really sucking up the bandwidth, well, I wouldn't be in a rush to go buy a tri-band router. Everything's working, leave it as is. If, however, you are in the market for a new router, I would absolutely recommend going tri-band and absolutely recommend going mesh. So now, with this particular model, for example, you get the best of both worlds, you get the tri-band, you get the mesh, you get a nice fast internet connectivity, and then you know that you're good for a little while at least. If you want more Wi-Fi tips and tricks and more mesh kind of systems, check out these videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in those videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here till the end. I appreciate you guys.